Do you or someone you know have panic attacks while driving? Well, that's what we're going to be discussing in this video. Here's a comment that we received. I have panic attacks mostly when I drive my own car. I used to drive everywhere but am now unable to drive to the shops. I'm a little better if someone is with me but cannot do this on my own as my chest gets tight, my heart races and I shake all over and that's before I get in the car. Today we are going to tackle these challenges using cognitive behavioral therapy. We'll begin by breaking down the issues this person is experiencing. One, this having panic attacks has led to me being unable to drive my own car. Two, I'm now unable to drive to the shops. And three, I cannot do this on my own. The following three cognitive distortions are present. One, disqualifying the positive. Two, jumping to conclusions, fortune telling. Three, magnification. Let's look specifically at how each distortion is present. One, disqualifying the positive. This individual is likely dismissing the times when she has driven her car to various locations, including the shops, and did perfectly fine. Two, jumping to conclusions, fortune telling. This person is concluding that because of the anxiety she experiences while in the car, she can never drive alone. Again, there are probably many times she's done this fine. Three, magnification. She is having symptoms of anxiety before getting into her car, but she is not dying. She's feeling anxious. To really experience something beneficial from the process, we need to generate more accurate ways of thinking about the situation. As pointed out, this person has likely driven many times alone and done so just fine. She probably did it when feeling very anxious too. Just because she's nervous doesn't mean she cannot drive. While she may be extremely uncomfortable driving her car, she can start out by taking baby steps. That is, by going on short drives accompanied by a friend or someone else. Over time, she can increase the distance. She can then start the same process again, this time without anyone in the car with her. Over time, she can go further and further. Thank you for watching. Would you like more information on the topics covered in this video? All you need to do is simply click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter. As usual, we look forward to presenting a new video in our series next week.